Yo, what is going on, Hugh Crew? It is your boy, Casey, and today we have a YouTube tutorial that is long awaited for many of you. It is the mob farm that I use in all of my hardcore worlds that you guys have probably seen many times and have been asking about many times. So I am taking it upon myself today to build this farm for you. Also, before we begin, I just want to make sure that you guys know this is not my design. This is actually a design made by Deathridge, who is another Minecraft content creator. I'll be sure to link his stuff in the description. Uh, the YouTube tutorial is no longer on YouTube, so I don't know if it got taken down or if he doesn't want it anymore. But either way, here I am making the tutorial for you because apparently 1.16 doesn't have an, has a lot of issues with mob farms, apparently. So this is like one of the only working mob farms uh, that I've heard, apparently. So... Here's some clips of the mob farm and it's working and all you get out of it. And after that, we will begin on how to build this bad boy. See you guys in a, in a couple seconds. <laughs> all right. So here we are in one of my old hardcore worlds that I just lost recently. And literally, I build this mob farm in every single every single world that I build. So we're going to go. Uh, let's actually yeah, hold on. Okay, we got to. <laughs> let's go back to survival. I don't play in this world anymore. But as you see, this is the mob farm. And this is what your end result is going to be like. Um, let's turn off this real quick so it's not blaring in our ears. But um, this is what it will be. A, the mob grinder that gets you XP and a whole bunch of goodies. So this is what you get. This is with... Hold on, let me turn this down as well. Uh, turn that back down. All right, cool. That's what you get from this mob farm. And this is with a looting three sword. And I highly recommend getting sweeping edge on it as well. So this is what you get. And uh, it is quite, quite efficient. So as you see, this will be the end result from what you get. And uh, this is a little bit of a demonstration. So this fills up a much quicker. This is some extra XP, I guess, from the last time I used it. But um, you can sit here for probably about 5, 10 minutes. Let it get to mob cap. Uh, usually it goes to around about 120 mobs in here. Uh, it says it right here. There's, there's 100. So we can wait here even longer to get it. Uh, let's see if I can get Sweeping Edge real quick on my sword all right so we have put on our sweeping edge and this is what you are going to get out of this mob farm um, it is very efficient starter mob farm and is very good for when you first start out the game just grinding out the cobble and getting up here and doing the thing so this is what you get one swipe looting three sword sharpness four sweeping edge three that's the sword we're working with and you just sit here and enjoy the wonderfulness of the xp going into your tickling your eardrums just tickling your ears away and, uh, from level 4, we get all the way up to 16. So as you can see, it goes very quickly. Obviously, it goes slower as you go up in levels. But this is the end result in which you will get. And over here, you just get oodles upon oodles of stuff, man. So let's get on over to how to build this bad boy so you guys can enjoy some of the sweet, sugary goodness that comes out of it. All right, so you have officially reached the point in the video where you're going to learn how to build this bad boy. And I hope you guys have been enjoying it so far. If you guys like the video, please give it a like. You know, typical YouTuber stuff. You know, same old, same old. Give it a like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Okay, anyway, let's get into it, man. Jeez. Okay, we are back into survival. And I highly recommend building this over an ocean. You can build this over a very flat terrain as well. Let's say like a plains or something just very, very flat. But what you need out of this is this. So I made a slight mistake here. You want to actually get 54 stacks of cobblestone and get a, just a whole double chest full just to be safe. Um, it might You might have a little extra at the end, but I realized that I didn't have enough cobblestone as I got to the end of the grinder. You'll see in this video. And I'll also say 45 stacks. So make sure you get 54 actually and not 45. Go ahead and get a whole double chest full of cobble just to be safe. And then you'll be able to make all the mob farms. So please forgive me for this mistake. This is my first tutorial. But um, I do hope that you guys enjoy the mob farm nonetheless. Thanks, guys. So we need about 45 stacks of cobblestone. Um, it, that's give or take. It's just pretty much what you need to get the whole entire outline, the whole entire cobblestone structure down in order for it to be what it needs to be. Um, these mini carpets, I think that's 144, 148 or something like that. And then you need four stacks of trap doors, any kind. Uh, two iron doors and two redstone blocks. Now, this chest right here is the necessity for the mob farm to even function properly in the way that it needs to be. Um, this chest is more so, more or less uh, optional. Obviously, we do need the chests and the hoppers for the mob farm itself as well, but we can also skip uh, some of those. Most of these we can skip, but the hoppers for sure we need, 
and at least eight chests we do need for the mob farm. As far as everything else, it's kind of optional. You do need the torches as well to light up the platform. But other than that, let's get on started. We're going to hop on in here. Let's get a whole bunch of cobblestone up here. And, uh, you will see how to build this bad boy. So we're going to go all the way up to Y level 185. And for those that don't know how to read coordinates, press F3 on your keyboard. And this menu will pop up over here on the side. And what you want to look for is X, Y, Z. So your Y coordinate will always be in the middle of these two slashes. Go all the way up to 185. And that is where the start of the platform will be. So I will see you guys momentarily. All right. So here we are at 185 in the sky looking over our water and terrain. And the reason you want to be this high up in the sky is because you want your grinder to be as far away as possible from, from any other spawn locations that mobs might be able to spawn in. And at 185, it is perfect height to which it maximizes and isolates the mobs into one area up here. So to begin with, you want to make sure that your spawn platform is 19 by 19 square. So what we're going to do from here is going to go out nine blocks this way and then come back and go nine blocks that way. Nine that way and then nine this way. So I seem to have forgotten one thing as I came up here. I'll have to go back into creative and get it. But what I usually do is I put another two or three blocks right here to make this formation. And then I put a water bucket right here. So what this is going to act as is a water elevator for you to get up here. Um, you can swim up this. I would highly recommend swimming up this side if you don't have respiration on your helmet. Or you can put soul sand in it and you can shoot yourself up here. You can make a giant tube that goes all the way down. Whatever you please. Uh, let me hop back into creative real quick and then fix my errors here. Okay, we're back up here. We're back in creative. Let's go back to survival. Um, I will need those other buckets and stuff, but I'll have to bounce back and back and forth, but that's okay. Uh, thankfully for the jump cuts and the edits, you guys won't have to deal with flying back and up, or back down and back up. So we'll put that water bucket right here to prevent it from spewing out into some random waterfall. You know, that, that kind of like 3x3 three three waterfall that it makes. And that will go all the way down to that platform down there, where we can go back up and down as we please. So we got 19 this way, and now we want to get 19 the other way. So you count one block right here, and then go 18 the rest of the way. 18 and 19. And now from this point, you just want to fill it in. Honestly, this is the way I fill it in. It's the quickest. You want to just go to right here and just start just blocking it in as you go, man, until this whole 19 by 19 square is made. So I will see you guys at the end result of us getting all this filled in. Okay, so we got the main platform done. As you can see, there's a 19 by 19 square. And we will need to get the torches to light up this platform so that no other mobs spawn on it while we're using it maybe at nighttime or whatever. Um, but we will be building the next little platform that we are going to be standing on while the mobs are falling down. So let's make a little 8 by 8 platform in any one of these corners you choose. I usually choose the back right. You can choose any one you want, but let's just go with the back right in this case. So eight blocks, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And by eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we'll fill this bad boy in. So from this point, you want to go smack dab in the middle here and do one, two, one, two. And that is going to be the start. So what I'm going to go do is go get the other stuff I need out of the chest down below. You unfortunately will have to go kind of back and forth. If you're going to be building this at the start of your world, there is a lot of back and forth that you will have to do, but that is the point of the waterfall, so you can get back up. Um, at some point, you can obviously build a chest up here and then just put all your stuff up here, get all the hassle and the back and forth travel over with, which is what I will do at this moment. Okay, so I've taken it upon myself to move all the stuff from the bottom all the way up here so we don't got to do any back and forth, which is what I recommend you guys do in the, in the survival. Just get the hassle over with and just bring the items up here so you don't got to keep going back and forth. So from this point, as you got that done... What you want to do is get your crafting table out of here. You want to get your, that's it. You get your, get four hoppers out and then get eight chests, eight of them bad boys. And then what you do from here is you put two chests on the side, boom, boom, and then boom, boom. And then as you do that, you want to get your hoppers, do one, two, face them into the chest and one, two. And now what you want to do is get your carpet out. You only need four of them, but I'm going to go ahead and grab them all because we will need them momentarily. And then place these carpet on top of the hopper. So what these are going to do 
is prevent the XP from getting stuck inside the bottom or inside this little part of the hopper. As you see, I can kind of go down in there. The XP likes to get stuck in there, so the carpet prevents that. So we got that done, and we're going to put the remainder chests away just for later because we don't need them right now. And uh, we're going to get to building the actual structure now. So what you want to do is place your workbench or crafting table, I'm sorry, anywhere you want. And then place some slabs down. Make some slabs. What I usually like to do is I like to break out a block right here and then place my crafting table with inside that little space right there. Just so it's kind of convenient. But you can place it wherever you like. You can kind of customize it as you go. But that is what you want to do. Make some slabs, and then what you want to do, boom, boom, boom. Take that corner out, then place that there. Put that there. Take that corner out again, and then boom, boom. Move it once more, so that way you have a start of the tube. Now, from this point is where we're going to be building the actual tube. So I'm going to max out on my cobble again. Go ahead and get as much as I can. And from this point, you want to go up 21 blocks. So we already got one and two blocks done as you see we got one two and then we go up to 21 layers after that so we got one two three four five and so on so i will see you guys at 21 20 and 21 so this is the max you want to go so that the mobs don't die but they get enough damage to where you can one swipe them with a sharpness or our sweeping edge or whatever. So what you want to do, plug this up as you are working so that you don't accidentally fall down that hole. And from this point, we're going to be making the cross section in which the mobs will fall down into and then the water will come down to here. So let's go ahead and make that out. So this is the way I go about making the cross section. It is the quickest way. You want to be efficient while making this. You don't want to be spending all day. So you want to fill in these corners right here. One, two, three. Break that. One, two, three. And then one, two, three. And then from each one of these, you want to go out eight blocks for the water. So this counts as one, two, oops, three, four, all the way to eight. And eight, that's where the water is going to go. And then you want to go one more after that. So technically nine, so that you can fill in that wall. You can break this little block right here. Hopefully get it back. Oh, no. <coughs> and then fill that in right there. So now we have to do this on all four sides so see you guys at the end of the end result so this is what the cross section will look like at the end result when you get finished this is where the water is going to be um, so at this point i would tell you it's probably a best idea to bring your water buckets up here first i should have done that beforehand so i do apologize um, if you are making this as you if you're building this as you watch the video so make sure you get the water bucket before you come up here otherwise you'll have to probably just jump off one of these edges into the ocean or whatever but um, I'm gonna go get the water buckets real quick we're gonna make a spot right here in the middle so we can make an unlimited water source so we can just fill these waters up appropriately okay so now that we have the waters the water buckets the waters we got the waters let's make an unlimited water source and go ahead and just fill this in all the way back down every single spot so that when the mobs start spawning, this is their two-ticket trip to freedom. I don't know. But that is it. And to test it out, go ahead and just fill up your water buckets again, just in case you messed it up. I've done that many times. And then you want to fill that up, break the blocks, and then as you see, each one of these water, uh, water streams ends approximately where we need to end it. So right here is where the tunnel is that we clogged up. That is where you want all of your water sources to end up. So this is pretty much uh, the very repetitive part that gets kind of tedious, but is also very easy because you're going to make four of the same layers. This is a four-level, four-tier uh, mob grinder that you're going to be making. So there's going to be about 16 platforms in total. So one, two, three, four. On each level, you make four platforms. That is 16, and that is why it spawns so many. So what you want to do from here is basically the same thing that we did with the actual platform down there and just start filling it in. Fill it all the way in and then when you get to this point right here, when you get to this little this little nip, uh, fill that in as well and then go all the way to the corner and do that on all four sides. So I will see you guys once again once we get this filled.
Okay, last block and there we go. This is what it will look like once you get this main platform down. Um, and at this point during the day in Minecraft, you will probably want to go back down to this main platform because it will get dark, very dark down here, and mobs will start spawning. So that is where we will hop back into creative mode. Um, obviously, you'll be in survival, so just water bucket down to the bottom here. And uh, as you can see, there's some mobs spawning, so we'll have to get rid of those as well. But what I do is just make a little torch grid, and uh, I do every five blocks, I put a torch. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. Put a torch, and then one, two, three, four. And then on every fifth block, I put a torch. So one, two, three, four. Put a torch, one, two, three, four. Put a torch, and then unfortunately, it doesn't end exactly even, but it works. And then same thing, one, two, three, four, torch. And then you can kind of just fill it in, line it up from here. What's up, man? How you doing? Okay, so this is kind of what it will look like at the end. You have no spawn points in which any mobs can spawn, so we'll go ahead and just kind of boop these guys off the edge and get them out of here. But that's what you want to do probably beforehand, before you even get started on the mob farm. It's just going to make this torch grid. I probably should have said that beforehand, so I do apologize. This is my first tutorial, so I do apologize if everything's just so terrible right now. I don't know what I'm doing. But anyway, we got to hold ourselves together here and continue this mob farm. So let's go back up here. That spider's going to cause a ruckus, so we got to boop him out of here too. Boop, boop, boop. Get out of there. Boom. Oh, wow. Monster Hunter. So we'll go back up here. Obviously, we're in creative. Holy moly. And as you see, the mob farm is working. Wow. We got to clean this up. Okay, so that's all clear. It's daytime now. Pop that over there and then boom. Okay, so you usually won't have to deal with that as you're working in survival. If you do it smart and don't wait till the nighttime to go back down and then come back up because you want to light that up beforehand. So obviously, you saw a bunch of spiders. So now at this point, this is primarily a spider-free uh, mob grinder, but it does spawn spiders every now and then. But the reason you want to primarily make it spawn or spider proof is because spiders like to get caught up in the sides or in the corners of grinders like this, and it clogs it up, and then you're winding up losing the amount of mobs that fall down the tube while there's a whole bunch stuck up here. So what you want to do is put one carpet in the corner. This is where you get your carpet out. Let's go back to survival. Game mode survival. And then from here, you just want to go Every two blocks, you want to make a three by three basic, basically pattern. Like that, every two blocks, put a carpet, and then that is the whole thing that you have to do on each one of these platforms on each layer. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so that is what you want this to look like. Now, like I said, this is primarily spider proof. This grid pattern uh, pretty much reduces spiders by a lot. I don't know the exact percentage, but you will be getting some spiders inside of here every now and then. So don't be surprised when you get some spider eyes or some string. Uh, it does come in handy, but the reason you want this to be spider-proof is so that you don't get those clogs. You don't get a whole bunch of spiders clogged up in the corners. So that is why you want to do this, and that is the whole point of the carpet. So from this point, I'm going to hop back into creative. You want to go back down and get all of your trap doors. So this is what each and every single layer is going to look like inside of this mob spawner. So we're back up here with the trap doors, and on each layer it takes 64 trap doors for each and each and every laborers. That's why you need four stacks. And what you do from here, just place these bad boys and don't close them just yet because it will come in handy to have them uh, open like this. Or, or don't open them, I mean. What, whatever, you know what I mean. But go ahead and put the trap doors like this on every single one of the layers. And boom, just like that, you have pretty much the first layer done. Now what I like to do from this point is on every corner, put in three blocks like this. And then I'll show you exactly why I'm doing this in just a second once I get all these corners. And then from this point, I like to pop myself in this corner, go F5 mode, and then just move left and hold down right click. And you will be placing blocks. You can also automatically put blocks back into your hand once you run out. And this is going to be the first layer. So I will show you once we are done with this entire layer. Okay, so this is the final product. You want to go one more layer after this. Once you put two up, you want to make it three high, just like this. But this is the first layer done. And now, what I would usually do at this point as well, let's go back down here, let's get our torches, and we have our torches. So put a torch right here, and put a torch right here, on each one of these sides, so that as you're working up, no mobs will spawn below you, and it won't cause another clog. So that will prevent anything from happening as you're working more on the farm. Uh, what you want to do is go back up here, I lost the block there, and then finish this last third layer. Okay, so that's it. Three high, first layer done. Now we have to do the same thing three more times, all the way up, 
until we get to the fourth layer. So what I like to do from here is go ahead and just line it up with the platform below and just do a little pattern like this and then go back around this way and do that for each side and then as you do that you can also fill them in like so. So once I get this all done I will show you the final product of that as well. Okay, so then now this layer is done, and this is exactly what it's going to look like. So you're going to do the exact same thing on this layer and on the next two layers after this. So I will pretty much show you a little bit of a clip that is just going to be putting this all together and pretty much the final result. So I, it's pretty much copy and paste as you go up. Do the same exact thing as you did on the, all the levels below. And then once you get to that fourth layer, I will show you exactly what you need to do at the top. So I will see you guys momentarily. Okay, so we are at the final level in the mob farm. And what you want to do at the fourth level, you don't want to go up three high because what you're going to do on top of the ceiling is put slabs so that no mobs spawn on top of this. So what you want to do, the last time you go down and get the rest of your cobble out of your chest, um, you, what you want to do is get a crafting table and then you want to come up here and make the rest of your cobble slabs. Now, as you can see, I probably already stated in the beginning of the video that you probably need more cobble than the 45 stacks. But um, this is what you're going to do the remainder of the mob farm. So at this point, you have enclosed your entire mob farm. And this is the most crucial part, is removing the torches on the inside because that is going to be what makes this mob farm even work in the first place. So... You want to make sure you remove these, otherwise it's not going to work at all. No mobs will spawn, and you'll be sitting down there waiting for hours for just a single mob to spawn. So what you want to do from here is uh, close all the trap doors, and this is the reason why you keep all of the trap doors open. As you're going by, you close them, take down the torches, and then you can easily drop down to the next level without having to break a block. So you want to do this fairly quickly, because there is a chance for mobs to spawn within one of these dark areas as you're going down. I usually don't have to experience anything like that. I usually don't have any mobs that come down and uh, mess with me as I'm taking down the torches. But it is a possibility because obviously as you're going down, it gets darker and darker. So we're going to do this. And then once we get to the bottom, I'll show you kind of how I deal with getting out of the mob farm. And also, once you get down to this bottom layer, which we have, uh, this becomes a lot safer down here because once you get to the bottom level, um, it, they, that's where they start falling into the lava or into the water. Excuse me. But well, you want to break this middle part out now. That is finally uh, able to be broken because you won't have to worry about falling down it. Just make sure you don't fall into the water and then fall down that yourself. And then as we go out here, this is our last layer, last bit of torches. Close every single thing you can and get rid of every single torch. And then you'll get down to the last level here. And what we will do is do this. I will break out of the side and go to place down one of these. It's raining and stormy. And then I will do that. And then now the mob farm is done. So what you want to do is probably either just jump down or build a block around or whatever you want to do to get over to the other actual platform safely without dying because you just made your mob farm. Okay. Uh, game mode creative. And then we'll do weather clear real quick. Oh. Okay, and then now this is where the magic happens. You sit down here and the mobs should start spawning and they should start falling down here momentarily. So let's sit here and wait for these mobs to start going. What is that? Oh, it's a fish. <coughs> so as you see, we've been sitting here for about <coughs> um, 30 seconds and the mobs are now starting to pile up fairly quickly. So what you want to do now is... um. You can break this. Oh, not break that. I'm in creative, so just get the remainder of your blocks or whatever. And then break these right here. And what you want to do, get the rest of the stuff in your uh, chest over here. Get these hoppers. Put another double chest right here. Get two hoppers. Make sure it's facing the chest. Put one there and then put one there. And then same on this side. You want to be very careful because if you do get in the corner, it will uh, trigger the creepers. And they can blow this thing up. So an, a very important thing as well to remember uh, is get these iron trap doors and these redstone blocks. And what this is going to do is make it a lot safer for you to step up under this little thing so that you can come up right here without even triggering any of them. So if you go right to this corner, you, it might be safe to, to put a uh, excuse me put something right here as well. But I usually don't. I usually only come onto the redstone and then do that from there. 
And then as you go about your mob grinding waiting here, you can just wait for them to pile up. And then this is how you get all of those goodies, all the XP. It's just a simple, efficient mob grinder that's at the good start of the world. And uh, you can easily get a very good grind out of this. So let's go ahead and swipe it. We have an unenchanted sword. That's what we get out of unenchanted sword. A couple swipes usually does it with an unenchanted one. So if you have like iron sword, a diamond sword, it'll get the job done. And as you see, as we're leveling up, all the stuff goes inside the chests, and you get a whole bunch of stuff. So imagine having looting three, like I said in the beginning, and uh, sweeping edge sharpness five. This will fill up very, very quickly, which leads me to the last portion of this um, is all of this. So let's go ahead and put that away. I usually like to come down here as well and make a little water source up here just in case I need it because I do like to do my enchanting and all of my leveling up up onto the mob farm in just one area. So you want to get your bookshelves, enchanting table. Uh, this is optional. I did add this in. There's soul sand and nether wart, and you do want to get these anvils and uh, all that stuff. So we break these torches right here. We actually keep that one in the corner. Uh, put down the 17 bookshelves like this. One, two, three. Break that, and then boom, boom. Boom, boom. And then put the enchantment table right there. That'll give you level 30 enchants like that. And then I like to put the... Let's get the anvil, the grindstone, and the brewing stand. I like to do this like that. Put that there. Put the brewing stand here, and then the grindstone there. And that doesn't affect a single thing. And then the last little bit that I do is the soul sand and nether wart. So I like to do all my enchanting, brewing, all my leveling up, all my grinding inside one little area so that I don't have to go back and forth between uh, a thousand different areas. And that way I can just do it all in one spot. Now, the, oh, the whole reason I said these chests are optional, you don't need to put these down, but I like to because it gives a lot of organization up here. I usually end with, like, a whole bunch of chests over here, and maybe, like, one or two double chests here as well. And then that is what you have as the finished product. Um, this is a very efficient mob farm. I've used this for, for actually over a year now, and it has been one of the best things that I've ever done uh, at the beginning of a world is just make this mob grinder. Uh, get a looting three sword, especially, and just start grinding, man. This is the best way to get your enchants at the start of the world before you get, like, an Enderman farm. Obviously, those XP farms that are a lot better than actual regular mobs. And then at, at the same time, you get all of these goodies, man. So looting three, especially, is very, very important for this because that is where you will get all of the goodies. You'll get three times as much gunpowder, three times as much bones and rock flesh, all of that stuff. So that is it. That is all you need to do to make the mob farm. So I hope this tutorial has helped you guys. I hope this has helped you in some sort of way. I hope that you guys enjoy this mob farm. Uh, I made this all in survival primarily because I wanted to show you how I go about making it in any survival world. Um, it's easy to make it in creative, obviously, but I wanted to show you some techniques that I use just to make it more efficient, just to kind of make the building process go by a little bit smoother, a little bit quicker. But this is your end result. Let me do, uh, let's see, time set day here. This is the final final result that you get from the mob farm. Uh, this big block in the sky. Uh, weather clear. What is going on here? Well, you get this big block in the sky where you can do all your enchants, all your brewing, all your leveling up, all your grinding. Get a whole bunch of items at the same time, all in one area, all in survival Java Minecraft. So, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this, um, this great mob farm. This is not my design, like I said. This is Deathridge's mob farm. But I did notice it is no longer on YouTube. So big shout out to Deathridge. I'm not taking any credit for this build or this design. But um, I just wanted to get it out there because I know a lot of people have been asking me. And it doesn't seem like it's on YouTube anymore. So I hope this guy, I hope this works as good as it, uh, it works for me. Um, I will be in the future making another tutorial added on to this one about an uh, auto-sorting system that's going to be below this. And an auto-smelter as well that's going to sort out all of these goodies inside of here into a smelter into an auto uh, organization system because a lot of the times these mobs especially in hardcore if you're playing hardcore they spawn with armor on top of them so iron armor chain armor gold armor and you can smelt those things down into ingots on uh, nuggets i mean you can get nuggets and then you can make them in ingots and then somewhat of a small uh, very very small minuscule gold slash iron farm that you can build within your mob grinder so this is such an efficient mob grinder I really hope you guys enjoy it. If you did, please give the channel a subscribe. We do weekly uploads here. Um, we also have a Facebook stream five days a week, Wednesday through Sunday, 7 p.m. Central Daylight Time. 
and uh, obviously figure out the time zones for you. But um, we do love to hang out on the stream. This is where we uh, that or that is where we do the hardcore series. We play a bunch of games together. We've just added Fortnite to the playlist. We've just added a COD Mobile recently as well. So it's a great time over there in the streams. If you like these videos. Please give the Facebook a follow as well. It's all in the description. But, guys, thank you so much for what you do. I hope this helps you, like I said. And God bless you guys. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe out there. And uh, may you keep grinding, man. Stay on the grind, guys. I'll catch you guys on the flip-flop. The flippity-flop. Peace out.